yeah, I'll just kick things off first, if that's all right. Um, just on behalf of the Freo Footy Club, um, just wanted to extend our deepest sympathies to Rhett Bazo and his family after the terrible tragedy um, that happened to his mother. So when something happens to someone in the footy community, um, you know, rivalries and everything aside, um, yeah, our deepest condolences and, and hope he, him and his family are doing all right. I believe that a couple of boys are pretty flat about it, eh? A few of them actually knew him quite well and it's just had a bit of an impact on your squad as well. Yeah, look, I don't know Rhett personally. Um, I hear he's a great fella and I'm sure there's a few of the boys that have a close relationship with him. So, you know, um, terrible tragedy and, um, yeah, has a big impact on a lot of people. How's the footy going, mate? It's, you're obviously, this is the year for you, eh? With the, your injuries, the back last year and the other things that happened, but you're feeling touch wood all, all well? Yeah, feeling really healthy at the moment. I reckon this time of the year, I say every year is this, the big year. Um, you have to have that mindset because um, every year is so important. But yeah, I'm feeling really good, really, really fit at the moment. Um, building and gaining more confidence with my footy and um, loving um, building more chemistry with the guys and, and the finals experience last year. And um, yeah, things are trekking upwards and really excited for what we can produce this year. Does it feel like the forward line is the area that probably will make the diff can make the difference in terms of, you know, top four, you know, knocking on the door, that sort of thing? Yeah, look, it's probably where we've had the most personnel change. I feel like our back line's been pretty set for the last few years and they've been performing really strongly. So there's no doubt our offensive game has probably um, needed a bit more improvement than our defensive game. And yeah, with that personnel change, um, there's a bit more uncertainty, but there's a lot of depth now. There's a lot of, um, a lot of options we can go with. There's good competition for spots. Um, which is really good. So as long as everyone can stay healthy, um, I see our forward line functioning really well and excited for what our new guys can, can bring in. And I think us smalls, that's probably the one area of our forward line that we've had some consistency over the last few years. So I'm excited to see how that plays out again. How's matching been the last couple of hours? A little bit intense at times? But yeah, very intense. Um, this time of the year, the intensity is always up and there's often more mistakes and stuff because the pace lifts and... Um, you have so much fatigue with the weather and you've only just started doing match sim but um, we've been able to get a yeah, truckload of match sim in um, which is a credit to the guys and how fit they came back from the break and, and the work we did before Christmas so we're able to practice our game plan and um, we've just been refreshing over our stoppages and um, kick in and zone structures and whatnot, so um, we're putting all that into practice. You talked about a few personnel changes up in the forward line, Nat Fife up there, what do you, have you made of his training so far? I know it's been a little bit limited. Yeah, a little bit limited, but it's been great to have him down there. Um, Nat alongside um, Lugie Jackson and Josh Corbett and some of our new draftees have all um, had a bit of a go down there and um, yeah, just getting a feel for it. I think Nat is enjoying training and having a full pre-season, which he hasn't for quite some time. Um, so yeah, really enjoying having him down there. Um, he's very versatile, so we can play him deep, we can play him high, we can put him through the midfield. So um, he'll just keep um, training in different areas and, and then see where he best fits come round one. What's your focus this year? Consistency, fitness, what, where are your, where are your goals? <laughs> Look, I'd love to just play a full season. It's been a long time um, since I have. So, I mean, that's probably number one. Um, and I guess how I make that happen is, is a variety of factors. So um, consistency in my training and hoping for a bit of good luck as well. Um, but yeah, at the same time, needing to keep improving my game. Um, like I said, there's a lot of competition for spots, so you can't get complacent. Um, just because you're you know, in the, the pick 22 last year doesn't mean it'll, it'll just happen naturally again. So I've got to keep improving, practicing my craft. What about, um, what's it feel like without Rory Lobb up there? Does it feel different? Is it a different vibe or? Um, no, it hasn't felt too different, to be honest. Yeah, like I haven't noticed it. I mean, it's, it's a weird industry sometimes. Guys go out and new guys come in, um, but you just have to move on really quickly. So um, Roy was a big target for us last year, but like I said, we've um, got a few new big guys in and they automatically just come into the, and play the game plan and, and play the same role and, and you just kind of get on with it. So yeah, it hasn't felt too different. And you feel like the rucks will change in the forward line then? Is that look like um, the plan is? Don't know what JL's plan is yet. Um, Luke and Sean have both been training ruck and forward, so um, yeah, I think we'll likely see a bit of a mixture. 
um, and then some other options of guys who can go in there as well. Pretty exciting, isn't it? If those two blokes are down there, you'll be running under, get to their feet. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, Any time we get a 450 stoppage, my eyes just light up. It's a chance for me to get involved and um, get that first touch off the first hit from those rucks. So um, if they can be dominant, it um, makes me happy, yeah, for sure. Sam, there's yeah. obviously a bit of a squeeze on small forward spots with yourself, Bailey, Lockie and a few others. Mm -hmm. Does that sort of competition drive you on? Absolutely. You need the competition. Like I said before, you just get complacent if you you know your spot's guaranteed every week. So um, it's super healthy to have a lot of competition. Um, those guys are training incredibly well at the moment. So um, yeah, the the lineup could be could be anything for round one. And just with a few of the new faces, you know, what's it like getting to play with someone like a Jager or a Mira or a Luke Jackson and I guess kind of working out what they like or they don't like, building that on field chemistry? Yeah, it takes time. Um, but fortunately, being able to do match simulation training um, for a couple of months in pre-season helps with that a lot. Um, I actually knew Jager from my Box Hill days and played with him, um, I think, one or two games back in the day, so I know a little bit about him. And um, But they come in and, you know, they adjust to our game plan and there's little things you need to learn along the way with how they like to play. But um, yeah, at the end of the day, we're all, um, I guess, had the same goal and um, are playing roles for the team. And... Um, yeah, it makes it quite easy.